Max, right? Yes. Yes. It's nice to meet you. I'm Gina. Nice to meet you, you, Gina. And so you actually started driving with us um, this year, right? That is correct. In January. Awesome. How have you liked it so far? I enjoy it. I became owner operator in February, so I'm enjoying it. I'm good. Yes. It's like a new home and I feel really at home over here. So that's awesome. Awesome thing. That is awesome. Were you always driving before or how long have you actually been? Yes. Driving? I've been driving since I was 21 and I'm 26 now. Oh, wow. So it's yes. been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Yes. It has. Did you always imagine yourself to be driving? Oh, it was a childhood dream. Childhood dream of mine. Oh, that's so good. Yes, it was a childhood I'm glad. dream. Oh, I'm glad you find your way to us too. <laughs> We're so happy to have you. You have such a positive attitude, I feel like, just ever oh, since you started with us. It's been so good. Thank you so much. Yes, it's been a long time, as a matter of fact. It's been like a year before I actually joined. Uh-huh. Yes, oh, awesome. what made yeah. you finally pull the trigger with us? It was, it was supposed to happen in, wow, last year, and then California had the AB5 law that they were working on. Yeah. So it kind of delayed my coming over. And then Heather, one of the recruiters, she told me to, hey, just come on, uh-huh. do the I-5 account, get to know the routes and everything, and then it happened to work out. Good. I'm so glad. That was, that did put a stop on a lot of drivers, the whole thing with California. It, did. But it caused a lot I'm of gonna- issues. Yeah, I'm glad that we finally figured it out, though, because now I have you. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Are you still doing I-5 right now, or are you doing Western 10? I'm doing the Western 11 right now for on operator Okay, cool. Yeah. How are you liking that? Oh, I enjoy it. It's much better. I did it before, and then I had a little one, so I gave it up. And then, oh. uh, so. Good. And so what What are you typically hauling with the, the Western 10? With rest of 11, food, uh, as of right now, uh, a lot of ingredients, uh, tissue, um, what else? Uh, wood, materials for different companies as well. But that's pretty much, it's been, it's been like sugar and toilet paper and different probably snacks. Probably toilet paper. <laughs> yes. I think I actually got toilet paper for tonight, to pick up tonight, as a matter of fact. Going to college. Oh, for- nice. So, yeah. I've, it's really nice that we have the Western 10, I think, because at least I, I at least haven't noticed any decrease in freight either, especially with everything going on now. I feel like it's been pretty solid. It's been pretty solid. It hasn't changed. It hasn't really, I haven't really seen like a decline as far as me and my dispatcher, Tyler, and I, we've been keeping it moving, so. Good. I'm glad. So, at least throughout the whole thing, I feel like, do you feel pretty stable? Like, just at least running I do. Western. I mm-hmm. do feel stable as long as I keep running and uh-huh. on my financials in my field then yes I feel pretty good good that makes me happy I feel like we've been very fortunate at least throughout all of this because transportation is so essential that I, I don't think any of us have really had to worry about that which has yes. been super nice and comforting yes it has it's just you know you see some articles though with companies that have had a bad experience going through this mm-hmm. so yeah Just staying grateful. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) me too. (laughs) So I guess I just want to check in with you and kind of see what your experience has been just, you know, with everything going on with um, COVID-19 and everything. Has anything changed for you since you've hit the road? My day today hasn't changed since the whole thing started. It just has been like a little different when you check into the customers and different preliminaries that are in place. Uh-huh. before checking in before unloading you guys still get used to it because some states have different laws as well so right. california you have to have a mask on other places you don't need a mask on so it does kind of get confusing at times what you're dealing with when it comes to the customers and some mm-hmm. customers are changing different check-ins when you check in for your loads so it's like okay. hey don't come to the office Stay out there. Your lows are already ready or yeah. Uh, yeah, to avoid contact and everything. To avoid contact. Um, so, yeah, it, it hasn't changed my day to day, but it does. And in some sort of way, it's better the whole check in process because it made it a little bit easier. You know, oh. Kind of, yeah, you're not punched up. So, 
That's surprising. That's kind of good to hear that it's been a little bit better. At least. Yeah, <laughs> Probably yeah. more efficient because they it is. get people in and out really quickly. Yeah, especially when I do my grocery shopping, which I got to do today. It's uh -huh. a bit easier with some of the stuff that's been changing. And <laughs> yeah. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's funny to hear you say that because I'm sure the majority of the country would disagree and say yeah, it's yeah. been so hard to get the groceries they need and it's just been such a struggle. The shelves are like, they're taking everything off the shelves, but yeah, it's, yes. it's funny to hear your perspective on that because <laughs> it's probably the complete opposite. Yeah, I, I'm sure it is. It's just that some of the space that you do have, uh, the traffic is less, so I do enjoy that as well. So. Yes. I bet that's probably yes, a lot uh, <laughs> you know people riding on your butt and driving down yes, and exactly. off and <laughs> has it changed for California though that's still the same in California at least yeah I, yeah I bet it <laughs> California is <laughs> a little bit different yes. <laughs> that's interesting um so as far as like customers and everything goes how have you been keeping track of all of that do they notify you or does your fleet manager notify you or is that something that you try to uh keep? my dispatchers notify me of my pre-plans and i try to what my dispatch and we've come up with as a game plan kind of like football so i tell them the game plan when i have my load uh -huh. what we're doing, keep them updated uh i do notice that some customers have an app that my phone has uh called carrier link Okay. And Albertsons uses that. And what it does, it actually takes my load and it sends it to my phone. So it has like all the information on my phone. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yes. I, uh, I hope they keep up with that. <laughs> yes, it's called Carrier Link. I know Clearwater and Albertsons both use it. Okay. So that's super helpful, probably. How do you keep track of everything? Do you like keep it in a notebook or just try to remember? Actually, like, what you <laughs> I actually have a little folder. Yes, I actually have a folder that says paperwork. In oh, good. Okay. In my bill of ladings, all in place. Uh huh. Just to but keep track of it all. Do stay organized. Yes, I try to stay organized as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Tools, gloves, disinfecting wipes, whatever I can to protect myself and stay organized, especially with the loads. That's good. Have you found it difficult to get all of those cleaning supplies and just keep it in your truck or did you always have that or? I always, well, I had it when I first saw the news in January <laughs> the virus and I kind of uh -huh. bought some stuff before then. Yeah. And then good. it all broke out. Yes. So you're, you're still stocked up on everything. Like everything is still. A little bit. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm been hard. I'm barely getting to the end point where everything's starting to be like lifted a little bit and kind of slowed down so that's yeah. fine i hope all of it goes back to normal soon <laughs> hopefully the one thing i did run into was getting a laptop laptops were like sold out at target oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. that makes sense though because everyone's working remote and they need to video chat and yeah that's I actually didn't even think about that. My first thought was just toilet paper. <laughs> no, nope, it was, yeah, there were some things like, oh, I can get that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Then I go and like, yeah, we're out of stock. Like, oh, yeah. I should have bought it two months ago. So I know. People are good at panic buying or purchasing. I did not. I did the same thing, especially with the whole toilet paper thing. I was like, I'm good. Everything's fine. Yeah. And then I finally was like, oh, I only have one roll of toilet paper left. Yeah. I go to the store and it's all sold out. <laughs> the other drivers we were talking, I'm like, hey, people do know they can go to the store still, right? I know a lot of people were like stocking up. I'm like, they do know. Yeah. The stores are still <laughs> open to go to. Not and they still be. restock. <laughs> yes. So, but it has been a rush. I will say that. Uh, you don't really get the break that you want when you have these kind of loads. Because right. they're like due in a tight schedule. So, yeah. yeah. Has That's that been stressful? Thing. It's a little bit, a little bit stressful. Just a little bit, yes. Uh huh. And I do know that some drivers have complained that they can't get enough home time, like other companies and stuff, because they're so busy trying to fill up stores. Yeah. Their drivers are needed now more than ever. And it's yes. like, I'm, I'm so happy at least that. 
our country is seeing that now because I feel like you're always just like the unsung heroes, like people that <laughs> never talk about the drivers, yeah. but now you see it. Some, yeah, that's it. Thank you, truckers and everything of that sort. Yes. Oh, that's, cool. that's sweet. It's real awesome. I'm glad. That's probably a really good feeling too, just seeing it that. Is. Yeah, that it painful. is. I feel that appreciation. It is. I've seen that they've been doing, um, just trying to show their appreciation. So even, have you seen anyone, some people told me or some drivers told me that there are people even waiting at truck stops and they had like home cooked meals for some of them. I know. Like I've seen to, lots of the food be given out to drivers. So that's an awesome thing to see, yes. Oh, that's so sweet. Have you seen anything else like that? Um, not lately, not any time recent. It was about a few weeks ago that I saw the boxes uh -huh. of food being being given out. Yes. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Did you get any? <laughs> no, I missed the party. I no. <laughs> missed the party. Yes, I missed. It. Like, <laughs> it was cool to see though. It was awesome to see drivers receiving that because I didn't need it myself. So it was awesome to see that. Yes. Right. That is really sweet. I've seen that even some people have offered to go through drive throughs for drivers too because they're trying to. I'm trying to, to figure them. that out. I'm trying to figure out how to do the drive through. I know that there's like a new system that they're doing <laughs> and I cannot figure it out <laughs> for the drive through. So. Uh, I think I read something about it. I think sometimes they like offer, I don't, I don't remember what restaurant it was, but they offered you to drive through and you would park your truck and then they would come walk out to you and take your order and bring your food out to you. Uh, I've seen some fast food restaurants be doing that. I'll have to figure it out and get back to you. Yes, to my truck eat. exceeds the sign limit, so. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yes, yes. My you probably can't even talk down. You have to yell into the speaker what you want to eat. Yes, exactly. And I don't want to look foolish and walk up to the window in the drive through so. <laughs> okay, I'll just do truck stop food, I guess, right now until yeah. I figure out the drive through situation. We'll figure it out. We'll get, I'll get back to you on that, too. I'll okay, figure it out awesome. for you. <laughs> have, you, have you noticed anything with the truck stops? Like, has it, have they been pretty much stocked, too? I know that they've closed down um, some they've of the facilities. They've been pretty stocked up. They have been doing carryouts for drivers okay. uh, different places. So that mm -hmm. has worked. Um, other than that, I do notice that truck stops get filled up a little bit quicker uh, in the uh, parking okay. spaces. Yes. So it's kind of, it gets a little bit hectic. Yeah. It does get a little bit hectic, yes. I could see that. Well, it's especially because that's kind of like your home at this point. Like you. Yeah. So a lot of drivers are pulling in, they're blocking people in sometimes. I got blocked in myself just oh, recently. No. I had to wake up a truck driver, but he was nice and he backed <laughs> up to to let me out. Yes. I bet everyone's been pretty understanding at least during this time because it's just so crazy. Yes. Uh, we try. We we try to be understanding <laughs> of each other. We try to be. It's like a sibling thing, kind of. There's some points you do get each other's nerves and Right. But you still love each other at the end of the day. Yeah, still <laughs> each other at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I know that we had to close some of our um, facilities, like the gym and just like public gathering areas. So has that, have you noticed that being an issue at all? Like not being able to um, do your no, laundry? And not for me because I have like a punching bag on my truck. And oh, I do good. Have the yeah, I think you told me that. <laughs> yeah, so I have a, like a mobile gym in my truck right now. So I haven't noticed really... Mm -hmm. a downward in my workout with the, everything that I have on the truck. That's good. Did you just do that for this, like the whole pandemic or did you always have that on your truck? I always wanted to do it and just that the punching bag wouldn't fit in the Volvo and it happens to fit on the freight line. So <laughs> it finally got to <laughs> pull the trigger on the punching bag. Yes, exactly. And I do see like DOT officers when I go through the scales, they kind of like look and like, what is that in his truck? It's like right by my seat. <laughs> it's <bad>. big. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. And That's they, funny. They kind of wonder like what it is. Yes. Do you just, what do you do? Do you pull it out of your truck and then just punch it? Like no, lean against it actually it? goes like in the middle of the aisle way of my truck. And it just, it'll stand? Like, it's it good? Stands, it stands, it moves, so it'll, like, hit the front, and it come right back. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yes. And then I have my <laughs> weights, coffee machine, microwave. Yes, I have my home away from home. Mm -hmm. That's good. I feel like you have to do that. Some, I feel like you have to stay active just to like get your mind off everything because you're sitting all day and yes. dealing with people. And I actually just ordered a 5G hotspot for my truck, as a matter of fact. So, oh, nice. Yes, because my tablet would take me to back roads where I lose service and I'm in the dark and no one knows where I'm at because <laughs> I have like no service on my phone, the omni track. Oh, no. yeah. And you're so, in a big truck. You can't just turn that thing around. I just can't, I just can't turn it around, no. No. Oh, well, good call on your, your part. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So I just ordered it, -ish, but it's on back order. So of course, so it won't be here till like May or June. <laughs> so I gotta still wait. Uh, still have to wait for it. But I do have my laptop. I just bought a Nintendo okay. Switch just to pass the time by, and I'm yeah. ordering new books as well. So that's to good. Read. It sounds like you're doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to trying to i've been preparing for owner operator life and this has just kind of sped things up for me with the whole pandemic and staying out on the road a little bit i think so i think it, you're either one or the other so some people yes. are taking it hard not like going crazy being home and then the other people are just doing everything that they said they've been wanting to do and taking yes. the time yes. to do it yes pretty much i'm staying busy i bought a bed set for my truck so i do have like a bed set in my truck as well with uh -huh. nice comforter and everything so it is a home away from home right now oh good that's awesome have you been and you said you're on a 34 right now right uh actually not even a 34 uh, i don't really like doing 34s uh -huh. so my dispatch is like oh you're doing the video where your load's just a preloaded trailer like you can pick it up later on uh, okay. Tonight, so like later on tonight, yes. So it is perfectly fine. I was like, oh, perfect timing that I was back in time in Oregon and we can do the video uh -huh. chat. That is perfect timing. Are you from Oregon? Is that home for you? I'm not from Oregon, but I'm moving to Oregon. Oh, I'm originally wow. from California. Oh, okay. It's just wow. so funny because my I drove my pickup truck to Oregon for orientation. It's been here. Mm -hmm. And I hardly go to California. And a lot of times when I do my restarts, uh -huh. I get sent to Oregon because I did everything in Oregon, my lease, everything. So my right. friend was like, hey, it looks like Wilson just wants you to stay in Oregon. So I'm like, yeah, pretty much. So yes. But I've always uh -huh. liked Oregon for years. So I look forward to finishing my transition all mm -hmm. the way to Oregon. That'll be awesome. And if you're so used to Oregon now too, I think it'll be a good yes. home. Yes, yes, yes. It is my second. It is my second home. When I go home, it's Oregon where I always end up. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad place to be. Oh no, it is not. And it's cheaper. It's cheaper than California. So. It's way cheaper than California. And it's just so pretty. You've got the mountains too, if you like that kind yes, of stuff. It's all it's beautiful. I mean, driving up here. The mm -hmm. greenery, the rain, sometimes. I'm not a big fan of rain, but it works in Oregon, though. It does work. Yeah. In Oregon. Yes. It does. I feel like you can't even complain about it. Like, you can do all the days in Oregon. It's just yes. so beautiful. Exactly. It's just so beautiful, especially at nighttime in downtown in Portland. Oh, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to completing it about the end of this year. Wow, that's pretty soon. You yeah. just... <laughs> You really just went all in with Wilson. <laughs> yes. Like I said, I looked at Oregon for years when I was at Sierra England. And uh -huh. I first came to Oregon. I was like, oh, my God, what is this place? So, yes, it was set then and there. To come I'm to glad. Yeah. I'm glad you like it so much. And, and you enjoy the lease program, too. You think it's – I know there are a lot of mixed opinions on it, too. But yes, there's a lot of mixed opinions. I like – the owner operator in the leasing program. I like mm -hmm. that I'm forced to save with the uh, uh, having to set money aside each week. That is an awesome thing to have. And it does help me get my business pretty much going. So I do look for do look forward to that. Oh good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's been so good. Has it been an easy transition for you too? Just coming from one company to another? Um, it has. Wilson's made it a bit easier. The funny thing is when I came, 
Wilson had just recently bought Market Transport. So I was like in the limbo mm -hmm. of things. And I was like, hey, you're supposed to switch over to Market Transport on your Transflow. And like, oh, you know, I was just like, <laughs> that driver. And I was like the only driver in my orientation as well. So it made oh, things. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> yes. I was the only driver for orientation. Oh. When I got on board. So it made things a lot easier to get done and get through. And it's been an easy transition. Like I said, I feel like home with Wilson. I'm out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. with Wilson. Like I don't normally do video chats. <laughs> or I'm glad that you did. So, I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> so, We're trying to figure this out earlier. <laughs> it is an awesome thing. It is awesome. And I look forward to, again, continuing with Wilson and building my business with Wilson as well. Well, we're excited to have you. We're so grateful to have you. We've only heard good things about you too. And we love, oh, we love how active you are on social media too, because we just get so excited. We get to see what you're up to and everything. Yes. See, I wasn't like that before. I wasn't even, I wasn't like that before on my social media until I came to Wilson. Oh, well, I'm glad you are because we <laughs> love it. We love being able to see. It feels like we're on the road with you guys. Like we get to see your views and see what you're up to. And it's just yeah. like, I think it makes it fun for everyone. It and does. It does. We have the interaction. I think so. And I, I think I love that about Wilson is that we, we always claim to be a big family and it's like, I hope everyone feels like that when they it join shows. us. It does show. That's actually what won me over with Wilson when I was looking for a new company uh -huh. and it was Wilson made like the slightest like outreach and just like leaving a comment on one of my pictures or something. And it was like, it showed a lot. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm really glad because we do. We feel like a big family. I feel like we're just a big team and it's like we want our drivers to know that we support them and we we're always trying to do the best for them. I know sometimes if you're sitting, it feels like you're like, what's my flight manager doing? Like, why isn't he yes. helping me? But it's like we're, we really do try to show that we support you it guys. Shows. You guys. It shows greatly. Like mm -hmm. I said, I do feel like a one big family with Wilson. And that's an awesome thing to have. Oh, good. That makes me so happy. I'm glad. And we are. We're so happy to have you. And I'm glad that you've been safe and, you know, everything's been working out for you okay. Because I know it's pretty chaotic and scary time for a lot of people. But it's nice to talk to someone and see a smiling <laughs> face and know that you're doing okay and yes. able to support you. And, of course, if there's anything else that we can do to support you, then, like, please reach out to us too and your fleet manager. Oh, I surely will. And I appreciate everything that you do, Gina, and everyone at Wilson. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Um, it sounds like everything's been going pretty well with you, which makes me feel pretty good. I'm glad that we could do this because we do want to know what it's like out on the road for you guys, especially because you're on the forefront of everything. And Yes. Yes, so. it is. But everything's going well. Good. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, um, thank you so much, Gina. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will probably still be talking to you on social media. <laughs> awesome. Sounds good. I'll talk to you then. All right. Sounds good. See okay. ya. All right. Bye.